Hi everyone, so my name is Maria. I'm currently a medical laboratory technician student at a local college where I live and my goal today is to promote this profession in the medical field because I noticed that a lot of videos on YouTube um, are about nursing and also medical school for anybody who wants to become a doctor which are also very important however not a lot of people know about the MLT profession so if anybody is interested to enter this field or wants to know more about this field I am uh, my goal today is to tell you a little bit about each department and what we do as um, MLTs now uh, I did um, create some notes before I started this video, so you may see me looking down a lot, but I want to make sure that I cover everything that I wrote down. So, as I said, I'm currently an MLT student. It's almost time for me to graduate. It's been uh, um, two years. I entered the two-year program not knowing much about the medical laboratory technician field. However, um, I've just finished my clinical rotations, which lasted approximately eight months for our school, and it was a very nice experience. I went to a uh, local hospital, which was a large hospital, and everybody was extremely nice to me, and you get to learn how people work in the real world. So that was very interesting. And a lot of you may be wondering what an MLT is. Uh, basically, it's a medical laboratory technician, um, employee and if you want to um, continue your education further there's also a four-year degree um, for those who want to get a bachelor's in this field. These are people who are often working um, in the laboratory, they're performing testing, they're not really dealing with the patient however depending where you work you may end up um, uh, seeing a patient or you may have to perform phlebotomy on a patient if need be so you're not completely behind the scenes and also you're also communicating with other people in the medical field such as phys physicians or nurses so it's important to be able to know how to communicate with these um, different people or departments in the medical field so the MLT person, they will perform testing on body fluids such as blood, urine, feces, and any type of body fluid. They will perform the testing, they will send out the results to the physicians, and that will help the physician determine what the patient has, and they can then go from there on treating the patient patient so they are very important even though you may not see them just like a doctor they're very important because they are the ones performing the testing and they know what's going on with the specimen so they are very important um in the beginning when i first started the mlt program i did not know much about the program and a lot of people may be scared or they may feel grossed out because they're dealing with body fluids and uh, However, I must say that during these last two years, in my experience, I think the industry has come a long way on protecting the employees. They're constantly wearing um, personal protective equipment such as glove, um, gloves, lab coats and so on. So uh, they really take care of you and there are so many precautions and regulations that um, I think today is very uh, unlikely that a person can get into contact or infected with a certain specimen. However, it can still happen, but safety has gone a long way from what our teachers have described to us when they first started the field. So my goal today is to mention a little bit about each department and what an MLT does in each department. So the first department um, is going to be chemistry. Now, uh, chemistry at the hospital where I did my clinical rotations, um, it was very automated. So um, there was a lot of instrumentations. You load the samples on the instrument and the instrument will obtain the results for you. For example, it can test for different enzymes found in the body, 
heart assays, different analytes, glucose, lipids. So there's all these different types of chemistry tests and these instruments um, are very sophisticated and they are, they are able to perform such testing for every uh, patient sample that was loaded on the machine. However, um, an MLT is still important even though there is automation because they have to know how to use the instrument, how to read the results, they have to double check the results, they have to perform quality control on the instruments um, on a daily basis, sometimes on a monthly basis, maintenance. So they are still important and you have to still know like um, the different testing that is done and understand what the results are telling you. So that way, when the results are sent out to the physician, you will know that they are correct. So chemistry is very automated. And when you enter this field, you may realize that you may like automation more. There are people who like hands-on experience. So depending on the different area that you may like most, you may decide to work in a specific area. Microbiology was um, another department that I got to work in. I really enjoyed microbiology because it's a very hands-on experience. Um, um, here you're also dealing with um, different types of specimens such as urine, blood, sputum, wounds. And you basically uh, start by trying to isolate any bacteria from the fluids, you're plating the specimens on different types of media and uh, as an MLT we're interested to see if anything grows on these plates, for example depending on the part of uh, fluid where it came from we will be interested in finding specific types of bacteria, for instance if I have a urine specimen I may be wanting to try to find bacteria that is related to a urinary tract infection um, or even a sexually transmitted disease. There's also um, testing dealing with fungi, parasitology and um, it was very interesting because you get to do it yourself with your own hands and you get to see it under the microscope and this is stuff that you won't think exists because they are so small but they are there and it was very interesting. Um, another department that I worked in was hematology. This was very interesting also. Um, and combined with hematology, I also did testing on urinalysis. However, um, hematology um, in particular, they study the cellular components of blood. So for example, what they will do, they will get a blood specimen. They can get a drop of blood, put it on a glass slide and look at it under the microscope to see if there's um, any abnormality going on inside the uh, blood of the patient. For example, they will see if the blood cells are looking normal, if there is an increase in white blood cells that may mean that there's a bacterial infection. They're looking at platelets, um, which are important for clotting or when something goes wrong in our vascular system. And uh, also they can, for instance, use instrumentation also to place a blood sample on the instrument and see if um, the uh, um, cellular component ranges, for example, the white blood cell count, the red blood cell count, platelet count, if they are in normal ranges. Because if not, that means something is probably going on inside the patient that the physician will need to know. Um, there are also uh, special staining techniques that an MLT may perform on uh, slides. For example, there's a uh, staining technique used to find out if there's um, immature red blood cells um, uh, in the peripheral blood of the patient and these are all, are all important ways um, to identify if something abnormal is going on with the patient. You can also perform testing on blood to make sure that a person's blood has all the factors used in clotting such as the platelets and so on. And uh, 
linked to hematology, like I said, I uh, did urinalysis testing, and again, you're looking at urine and performing testing to see if you see anything unusual, for example, if there's um, abnormal casts, um, yeast, uh, white blood cells, anything that is abnormal is going to give you a clue that something is wrong basically with the patient. And again, just like every department, there's instrumentation and there's also manual testing that you have to perform manually. Um, the last department that I worked in was blood bank and this was a very nice experience as well. And uh, in this department, you're dealing with blood there's a lot of um, uh, rules and regulations concerning blood because, again, you're transfusing, blood is used to transfuse, to be transfused to other patients, so you have to make sure that the blood is safe, that the patient is going to be safe, and you have to avoid mistakes as much as possible because you don't want to transfuse the wrong type of blood to... Um, a particular person because they may have a transfusion reaction and that can be fatal so it's very serious however it's a very interesting area if you like blood bank and for anybody who donates blood I suggest that you continue doing it because it is something that benefits our community and just when you donate a unit of blood remember that the unit can save different lives because you you can from a unit of blood you can get um, red blood cells that will help one person you can get the platelets that can help a person um, for example who suffers from um, platelet um, uh, dysfunctions or they have low platelet count and there's also plasma that can help uh, um, patients who may be suffering from uh, coagulation factors deficiency so one unit of blood can help several people and I really am uh, congratulate you to continue doing what you're doing if you do donate blood because it's very helpful um, um, so this was the blood bank department it's also very interesting because you get to see how one unit of blood um, how they separate the different um, uh, blood components into different bags is very interesting for example from the blood all you see is liquid however it's divided into three areas there's the blood there's the platelets there's the plasma and you will see them you using different equipment to uh, divide those different cell components um, 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 another important thing um, about the MLT profession is that you can work in various areas. For example, you may decide that you want to work in a large hospital, you can work at a doctor's office, you can work at a public health laboratory such as the CDC, you can work um, in blood bank, you can also be a MLT traveler and actually recently I just met a person in a... Um, in the hospital where she traveled as an MLT so that is also very interesting so there's different areas where you can work there's a lot of opportunities and um, like I said depending when you work where you work the uh, departments can be divided individually or you may have merged departments where you may perform for example chemistry and microbiology um, at the same time. And another experience that we obtained as MLT students is phlebotomy. Now I do know that there are people who work as phlebotomists and that is all they do. However, sometimes MLTs may also be required to perform venipuncture on patients. I was really scared from this in the beginning, but when you learn how to do it, eventually it is a lot of fun and everybody can do it. Remember, people are there to train you. There's teachers. When you do the clinicals, um, there's other um, people on top of you who are helping you to perform a particular task. So you will learn just like the previous people learned before you. And um, I think this is all I have about... Um, uh, becoming an MLT. Now remember if you have any questions please, please 
um, feel free to uh, message me and I'll be more than glad to help you. And that is all for now. Thank you very much and I hope that this video helps someone out there and whether it's in my state or somewhere else. I hope it's um, very helpful for you and my goal was to promote the profession because it's very important just like nursing and doctors. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed it.